Hey, what's the man here? I hope you're uh, having a good day, and welcome to the Hothead Podcast. Bit of a cheesy intro there, I know. Um, uh, welcome to the Hothead Podcast. Um, you may be thinking, hang on there, what's the man? What, 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 uh, what? You've already done four of these before, and I concur. I have done four of these before, but they're shit, and I didn't like them. I don't like them. So, here's four more. Deal with it. (laughs) No, here's a load more. Basically, like I said in the video, talking about me starting doing podcasts and shit, um, I've always wanted to do podcasts ever since the start of making a channel, and, you know, the Pothead podcast is what I came up with, and then... I recorded a load of them, but they just, they, they, they just weren't to, not my standards, but they just weren't that good. <laughs> I was never happy with them. I, it was like, yay, I've done a podcast finally, but then I was like, oh, it's shit. <laughs> but, you know, I put them out anyway, and um, I just, I just, I gave up on them. I did four episodes, and I fell out of love with it because those four episodes were shit. And so, I just never made any more podcasts, and then, you know, recently I've been wanting to do them again, and because my video videos, the shorter videos, are steering away from the topic of, you know, drugs, like they always are, um, I thought, you know, weed is still a huge part of my life, so I thought, you know, let's do a weed-based show, um, you know, every week or a couple of weeks or so. And also because I love getting stoned and rambling about shit and then making a video out of it. Uh, I mean, it makes poor viewing for you, but it's fun for me. And then, you know. I'm currently, uh, how I'm going to do these streams, um, like I said in the, uh, in the the intro to the Pothead podcast, um, how it will go, oh shit, I just fucked this up. Uh, How it will go is, what I'll do is I'll start the podcast sober. I'm sober right now. I know, it sucks. (laughs) Start the podcast sober, and then I will roll and then smoke a joint. Or I'll, you know, do bong hits or do whatever I'm doing that day. Today we're rolling a joint. And I've run out of king-size papers, so I'm having to roll what is called, commonly, an L-strap which is where you get two standard size Rizzler sort of cigarette papers and then you like you lick the gummed side and stick it to another paper and so it makes the shape of an L and then you can make a cone on the end and then it's like a long version of a fag basically with just with marijuana in maybe one day I'll do an L strap tutorial for you but today we're doing the pothead podcast hang on this one's come out a lot better so here's a tip for you that I never do, and it, it's the reason I fuck up every single L I ever make. I never leave it uh, so that the bit that you've licked um, stop blowing away. <laughs> I never leave it long enough so that the sticky bit that you've licked, or the gummed bit on the paper, um, when you stick the papers together, I never uh, leave it long enough so that it can um, dry. And so, thanks to me being a spastic like that, uh, I always end up ripping the paper. But, you know. Ah, uh, well. Right then. Right, that's sticky. That's stiffer enough now. There we go. So you roll it into the side. You can't actually see what I'm doing, so I don't know why I'm talking like that. But, um, sorry if I go a little quiet. I'm just, uh, getting to the part where I'm rolling. Oh, just describe what I'm doing. <laughs> I've, uh, I've just put my roach that I rolled earlier. It's like Blue Peter. Here's one I rolled earlier. <laughs> I'm putting my roach into the paper. I've got some tobacco out because I'm from Britain and we smoke joints with tobacco here because we're not Americans. <laughs> no. Uh, also because I prefer I prefer smoking my joints with a bit of tobacco in rather than uh, just weed. Um, because one, I smoke cigarettes anyway, so you know, two birds with one stone. Um, and uh, it like, it makes it burn a little better. It it makes it have a little bit of a harsher taste, so it makes the, the pools a bit, or the puffs, or whatever you want to say. Buns, if you're a chav. You want a bun as eat, yeah. If, you, if you're not from uh, from Britain, when when people say bun as oot, it's, it's chav speak for, do you want, would you like to smoke a marijuana cigarette, please, sir? 
Would you like to smoke a joint? Indeed I do, Chav. <laughs> nah, Chav's alright. They never roll their, their, their joints fat though, they always roll them like... They always do this thing called top shelfing, or top layering, where when they put their tobacco in, you roll down like a foundation of tobacco, and then how I do it is I roll fat tobacco on the bottom, I put tobacco in the bottom of the paper, construct the joint, and then I put marijuana on top and roll it, and then it kind of mixes in. Whereas chavs and people who top layer, uh, what they do is they get the, um, they put the marijuana on top of them, they put tobacco, then weed, and then they uh, put more tobacco on top, which is just ludicrous, it's too much tobacco. Remember, whenever you're rolling a joint with tobacco, less is more. Um, you know, you don't need loads of tobacco, you just need a little bit just to, you know, enhance the flavour. It's like with chefs. There really is an art to marijuana, I have to say. It's the moment of truth. Okay, I pulled it half off. Now then, let's not fuck this up, eh, guys? For the sake of the Pothead podcast, let's not fuck this up. Actually, it's gone too far for me to fuck it up now, so yeah, we're, we're all right. Oh, that came out very nicely. I'm actually proud of myself for that. First time for everything. <laughs> Hang on. Something else about this podcast. Oh, it's going to be about 25 to 35 minutes long. I think that's a good length. But also, um, uh, it's not going to have much edits in it. Uh, I'm trying to... Well, I'm trying to talk in a way where I won't have to edit it that much. Um, even if I do edit it, all it will be is just cutting out bits where I'm taking a pull on a joint or something and it's quiet for a second or, you know, just tightening it up and making it, you know, a bit better. Um, but yeah, there, there, there'll be no major edits on it. I'm not going to say something can be like, oh, I shouldn't have said that and delete it, you know. That just ruins the... If it's edited too much, it won't flow very well. That's why I always find, but, you know. Uh, also, this is the second time I've recorded this uh, <laughs> this particular version of the podcast, this 2.0 of the podcast. This is the second time I've recorded it because um, my uh, <laughs> in the last recording it was really good. I was actually proud of it. I was happy with it, you know. And um, what happened was the microphone. I don't know where I put it, but it was you could hear me talk, but it was so muffled. You could barely hear what I was saying, let alone with the fucking distortion on. So, you know, it, it, yeah, it was fucked, basically, and I had to save it. Well, I couldn't save it, hence, I had to, hence I'm re-recording now. Um, but yeah, this joint is rolled. I think it's time to spark. Um, by the way, if you hadn't realised, I mean, I, this podcast's been going on for, what, like five minutes now? So far... I have not actually said anything of any worth. This will just be... Well, really, as with all my videos, the podcast will be more than anything me just rambling. So, you know, if that's the type of video you like and you, you know, want to listen to it, then cool beans. <laughs> um, but, yeah. I'm going to try and smoke loudly. I don't know how I'll do that, but a bit louder so you can hear me. This weed I'm smoking today is called Cheese, which is one of the one of the big three in Britain. Um, we always get, especially around where I live, you always get Cheese, uh, Ami, which I think is also am- which I think is actually called Amnesia, but uh, just the dealers always short it to Ami. Um, and uh, Cheese, Ami, they're the, they're the two biggest ones. You get cheese, you get amnesia, you get, uh, there's another one, but I can't remember it. And then obviously, obviously they're not the only two you ever get, you you get all kinds of other ones, but, um, but yeah, you know, <laughs> this is one of the main ones, but actually I'm not sure what this is, he never actually told me, it, it's either amnesia or cheese, because he sent out one of the, I think, in fact, <laughs> I think everyone knows this, but when you have a drug dealer, what they, what they tend to do, for some reason... Um, well, weed dealers mean mainly, not, um, like other drugs, but, um, well, actually, I've got it from other drugs before, but, uh, I need to take a picture of this joint. This is very well rolled. Well, not well rolled, it's, this is probably the best L-strap I've ever rolled. So, I'm gonna pause and take a picture quickly. 
I mean, this will be like a minute for me, but a second for you. If you want to see that picture, uh, I've just taken it. Uh, that picture will be on my um, Instagram, so you can go there and check that out. Shameless plug there, what's the <laughs> But yeah, sorry, the magnificence of that uh, this joint distracted me from what I was talking about. Basically, weed dealers seem to feel the need to send out these, like, these advert messages, um, these text messages to everyone in their contacts, um, and it will say something like, it usually is along these lines, uh, most dealers, uh, most weed dealers at least, are chavs, uh, I mean, I say chavs a lot, um, in Britain, we have the, I don't know if, if you're in another country, I don't know if you know chavs, chavs, I'm pretty sure they're well known, I mean, in Britain, everyone knows what a chav is, um, a chav is someone who goes around in tracksuit. They're usually poor. Um, I say that like I'm like some rich. Oh yes, they're, they're the poor ones. No, <laughs> when, when I haven't got a fucking when I haven't got a pot to piss in or a fucking window to throw it out. You know, I'm hardly one to be calling anyone poor. But I'm just not a chav. Um, chavs, they like they wear tracksuit. They talk like this, yeah. In it, bruv. Yeah, G G. And anyway, these text messages always say, 10 out of 10, banging Kershaw, bang, got, got Amy, holler, and stuff like that. <laughs> and it's like, look mate, I don't need to be reminded to buy weed. <laughs> but yeah, um, obviously I wouldn't say that to them, you got, because they'll beat the shit out of you. But, <laughs> they're quite aggressive too, chaps. Um, well, really, chaps, are, they're okay on their own, but in numbers, <laughs> that's when they become dangerous, they're pack animals. <laughs> But yeah, it's weed. It's odd. It's it's one of those weeds where, when it's in when it's in its bud form, it doesn't have a very strong smell. And then and these are these were some tight, dense like nugs, uh, or buds or whatever you want to call them. Um, nugs is what most people call them. So I'll call them nugs. <laughs> um, these were some tight ass nugs. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, when I ground it out. It, uh, it just, the smell just fucking hit me in the face. I was like, Jesus, that smells strong. And then, we, and then when, I was, when I'm smoking it, smoking it now, I mean, I've, I've taken, I don't know how many pulls I've taken, but I've smoked barely any of the joint. I've smoked a little bit. <laughs> and it, uh, I've still got loads left. And it, um, it's fucking, it's hitting me already. Um, but yeah. I need to stop wearing my gloves when I smoke weed because they stink of, um, they stink of it now. Um, but yeah, I was going to say something, but I just lost my train of thought. I'm real sorry. Fucking hell, can you hear the fucking birds today? You know, I always, I like to smoke outside. I prefer, I prefer smoking outside than inside. Um, so I like to come, uh, I, just, I just find a little nice little place. Um, I've got some real nice places I come to, and I just sit in a nice little place. Uh, my mate gave me the idea about a year ago. Um... Well, no, it's probably about a year and a half ago now to sit in forests while you smoke. And there's a forest um, where I live, and I like to come sit in the forest um, and smoke. I'm not in the forest right now, but the birds are fucking chirping today. That's what that sound is. Um, I forgot to say, because uh, I had a few points and I wanted to say, and then the rest of it was just rambling. Um, <laughs> like all my videos are. Uh, um, but I'm trying to I'm trying to cut down on the rambling videos. I'm, I'm, what I'm doing with my channel is I'm taking it more in the direction of I don't want drugs are they were a big part of my life and now as you know with the sober video I, it, I'm I'm going to go sober for a little while. Um, I'm going to go sober for well not sober. I'm just going to go sober for weed uh, for two months or so, three months. Me and my mate are doing it. I'm go I want to go longer than him. He just wants to go till January. Um, I say my mate, one of my internet buddies. <laughs> but uh, you know, drugs. I smoke. Smoking weed is great, right? It's not great <laughs> when you got mental issues. Let's say. Um, I mean, it, it can be for some people, but I feel. I be like I said in the sober video. When you use drugs as medication, it's not good. When you use them for recreation, which you should always. Um, that's when it's good, uh, but, you know, I'm just, I just need to clean my head for a little while, so I'm enjoying weed while it lasts. To be honest, I probably won't, 
Uh, but, you know, fuck it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm taking my channel in more of a direction of videos, like uh, the shorter videos are going to be, I want them to be more, well they are usually based on one topic and one thing, but I'm trying to just, just want to make the quality better, I don't, I don't want every single video to just be me smoking weed, getting stoned, trying to make a point and then failing to make a point, and it just turning out into not a very good video. I want, to make, I want the videos to be better, and then I want to have a po hey, podcast for um, just getting stoned and rambling. So that's what the Buy a Podcast is. So, and also hello to anyone who doesn't know my YouTube channel and uh, is listening to this on Mixcloud or Sound Sound tr SoundCloud is it called? So, yeah, SoundCloud. Um, but yeah, uh, this uh, this is uploaded to my to YouTube, SoundCloud, and Mixcloud. And also on Mixcloud, I'm uh, I'm making uh, these like mixes or mixtapes or mix. Mix is a mix, and they're just my favourite tracks by certain bands, by my just just mixes. And uh, if you want to go and listen to them, then I reckon you should. <laughs> you definitely should. My newest mix has been a uh, is like the best songs to smoke weed to. So I recommend you put my mix on my uh, best drug songs, whatever I'm going to call it, um, it's made, I just haven't uploaded it yet, uh, but yeah, oh, it's 4.20, <laughs> I just looked at my clock, I just looked at my phone and it's 4.20, let's blaze, I just, I just took a pull and then went to say let's blaze and, I, and loads of smoke came out, I was like, oh shit, I can't, so I had to restart that, <laughs> it sounded like I was just about to vomit or something, so, you know, I say that, I never vomit, um, also, my, my mate also turned me on to this thing called Plug.DJ. It's like this weird site where you, you pick like a little character and that character like stands and dances, but you, you join these communities, they call them, and it will be like for a certain type of music or whatever. And uh, in this little community, you... Um, well, what you do <laughs> is you... Uh, you kind of... You join and... The, you, then you can draw, you listen to the songs people play and then you can put yourself in the waiting list to be a DJ and then you get to play a song. So, um, it's, uh, it's basically, um, it's like, say there's 20 people waiting to be a DJ, it'll go, one person does one song, then it'll go to the next song and another person does another song, then it goes to another song, it goes to the next guy, then to the next guy, then to the next guy, then to, the, then to you, then to the next guy, then to the next guy. <laughs> And then you get put back in the list. Um, it's quite good, um, but I only ever play in my own um, communities just so I can listen to whatever I want because I uh, haven't got any like friends on there. <laughs> that sounded sad, but they're called friends. I haven't got any friends on there to invite to it. So if you want to come and uh, listen to music, because um, the community is always online whether I am or not, but yeah, come to the community. I'm probably going to be on there most time because it's a good way for me to make playlists on a fresh thing because my like YouTube is like, I've got about 200 playlists. So it's really hard to find the ones I want. So I'm, it's kind of nice to have a fresh thing where I can make new playlists. But you take the videos from YouTube. But yeah, it's, it's quite a good site actually. I've made one called Stoner Central where I just play songs and you can go and play songs that you like to get stoned to. So come join Plug.DJ, add me, and let, come listen to, play the best songs you like to get stoned to. <laughs> it's a good time. I want to talk to you guys more. I'm going I'm to, I reckon I should turn comments on. I'm going to turn comments on again. Um, probably not likes or dislikes, but I'm going to turn comments on again. Um, just so that I can, I don't know, talk a little bit, I guess. Um, because I've always been had the comments off, so I, I don't, I can't, you know. So no one, no, there's no contact really. This channel was always just me blasting out, but and just you know broadcasting out to the world, and then not much feedback. But I want to talk to people more. So you know, my Twitter, I've got it unlocked, so anyone can send me a message. So shoot me a message on Twitter if you want to chat. Uh, my Instagram, you can message on Instagram now, so you can message me on Instagram. Uh, plug.dj there's a chat so you can chat to me there I've got my forum wadslen.boards.net 
come there and chat to me. That's the best place to come. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> this is loads of plugs, but uh, all the names are Wadsland on everything. Um, so yeah, I just I just want to yeah, chat more. <laughs> Don't know what that laugh then was. <laughs> Quite weird. I'm a weirdo, baby. So why don't you kill me? Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking. I'm stoned. Pretty stoned. So this this podcast really is uh, the pothead podcast. I'm pre- I'm a, I'm a pothead. I, I, I have to say, <laughs> I can't deny it. Um. But yeah, have you seen YouTube's new video? Um. It's called, I don't know what it's called, but it's them responding to, there was this whole thing that kind of came up recently about how YouTube has decided to, well, YouTube has started to, there's like some kind of malfunction. I've never, I've never suffered it and it's quite weird, but people get unsubbed from certain channels and video, some videos don't turn up in the, uh, who, in the sub box thing. Uh, I've never experienced it, and I, you know, so I'm lucky, I guess, but, you know, it doesn't seem to be such a big problem like these people are making out. I mean, they ain't losing much. All the people complaining have, like, over a million subscribers and shit. It's like, how much are you missing out on, mate? Um, but yeah, uh, that's become the big thing at the moment, and YouTube have made some video basically saying, it's like, it's so, like, scripted, and that it's like, they're, it's supposed to be like an interview, but they're acting so much that, that it's like, that it's like, it seems so fake. It's, it's a corporate video, you know, it's corporate, well, it's corporate shit. YouTube has sold out completely. It's, it, it was a great site where people would come and they'd upload their videos it, it was just a great little community. Anyone could make a video. Anyone could put anything they want out. It was. Ju- it's just a great little place. And then Google bought it, and it wasn't like that anymore. It's turned into just a money-making. It's turned into a business. Um, since, ever since Google t- took over. I mean, you know, do you know the music charts now? You take YouTube as part of uh, the charts. I don't know if it goes on views or something. Fucking YouTube views in the charts. It should be like album sales. People need to. We're in such a singles driven market now. They go, oh, the big pop songs that are plugged on YouTube, you know, and these big pop songs that come out. It's like, and they're like, ooh, you know, uh, we got 100 million views on this new fucking. Justin Bieber song or something like that. I don't know. I never listened to it. <laughs> but, um, you know, it, it, that they've started using that as the charts. And it's like, since when has YouTube been the charts? YouTube is supposed to be a site where people make videos and they have fun and they... Ex- YouTube broadcast yourself, you know, express, express yourself. That was their slogan, wasn't it? Broadcast yourself. When, since when has that come, become some big corporate fucking branding machine? I mean, you get these these fucking TV shows. Since when have YouTube been TV? And you've got these, these channels, these, you know, The Late Show and the fucking... All these, like, American big TV chat shows and all the chat shows now upload their inter- interviews to YouTube. And, I mean, it's kind of like, um, you know, whatever. It's like, it's good because, you know, if there's someone you like doing an interview, it's all right, you know? So it, it's a bit of a double-edged sword. I mean, it's all right, but since when has YouTube become, you know, TV? Since YouTube has just sold out so much, which is quite sad, I guess. I mean, all, obviously all of the YouTubers are still there, and people will go, I mean, I'm technically a fucking YouTuber, you know, I put videos out. So it's kind of, you know, I don't know. YouTube's just gone to shit a bit, but not gone too to shit because the community is still there. I mean, the community is heavily edited and heavily fucking dictated by YouTube and stuff like that, but, you know, it's, you know, a lot of people on there are just the mindless sheep, which I think there probably aren't any of those listening to my, watching my videos, which I think is good. I feel that the audience my videos probably attract is more of a, uh, You know, I don't know. Do I know? No, I don't. I'm pretty stoned. This joint is done. So, yeah. This podcast, I think, 
it's probably winding down to a close now. But uh, how long have I been recording for? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Welcome. This was. This has been the first episode of the Potted Podcast. <laughs> this is what you can expect from it. I mean, did you expect anything else, to be honest? But, you know. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. This is something that I, I enjoyed it, so whether you like it or not, I'm going to keep going. Fuck you. <laughs> but yeah. I've had a good time. I like making videos for what's I, I love I love making videos. It, it's fun. You know, no matter how corporate YouTube gets, and no matter how fucking far it goes, I'm still going to make videos because I enjoy it. You know, I enjoy how I... You know, my, my original intentions were to keep the channel anonymous until I fancied, you know, doing some kind of, like, reveal. Oh, this is me, and then I could record normal videos. Because sometimes it's like... Sometimes it's like I can't record actual videos of me, um, even though I kind of prefer to sometimes, but I like doing it just as like an audio track and just recording the audio and then, you know, I don't know. <laughs> and then I was originally going to stop editing my voice, but that went out the window. I... I I kind of like how I edit my voice a bit. I prefer how it sounds to my actual voice. I mean, it, obviously it's not much... Well, it, obviously it is quite different to my actual voice. I don't actually talk how it comes out. Um, but yeah. I like how it uh, changes it a bit. But yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'll see, I'll see you next time. I don't know when my next podcast will be. Probably... I don't know. In like two weeks? I don't know. I'll see you next time. I like how it, uh, changes it a bit. But yeah, <laughs> sorry. I'll see you. I'll see you next time. I don't know when my next podcast will be. Probably, I don't know, in like two weeks? <laughs> I don't know. I'll see you next time.